Why my room? <laughs> because my room is locked. Fern. A little discretion, okay? This is Dad's big night, not yours. guy in the Wall Street suit. The guy in the Wall Street suit is your distant cousin. His name is Casey Nelson. And indeed, this morning, he was closing up his investment firm because I just hired him as cowboys. Our what? Casey. Casey, I want you to meet my daughter, Juanita. We call her uh, Jazz. We think it fits her personality. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh. oh God, no. Well, those, those things happen. think I didn't know. Because I didn't. Or at least I haven't wanted to admit it to myself. Where? France. I just begin to hope you would believe that that was all over. I think after all these years, it would get easier, but it still tears my heart out every time you leave. Please. Hello, Mother. <laughs> Traffic is getting worse all the time. It took me almost an hour. Hello, darling. To get here from Beverly Hills. Hi, precious. Hello, Mother. Oh, sweet. Orange County has changed so much. This place was a veritable wilderness when I first married your father. Any luck with the sale? Mm mm. Rodeo Drive is getting as expensive as Paris. How much longer can I afford to live there? You're not pressed, are you, Mother? Well, let's just say that being a sort of hostess for hire is not as lucrative was. Too many of my clients that I depended on are gone. Anyway, your father must have been delighted to see the two of you at the fiesta. <gasps> I can't wait to get back to New York. We'll still be flying off to Europe. You're leaving the field of jazz. No, Mother, must we trot that out again? How could you be so short-sighted? Don't you know why she goes to the ranch almost every weekend? She's trying to make herself into the son he never had. Life is so unpredictable. He could change his will, you foolish, foolish girls. Hmm. Oh, yes.
thing. This is fantastic. Simply fantastic. Not quite on the scale of a Hollywood producer, perhaps. Oh, Mr. Tang, you joke. I mean, when I think of the hundreds of pictures you produced... Chopsaki pictures don't make Oscars, Mr. Rosemont. But very few in Hollywood, or anywhere else for that matter, make nearly as much money. Exactly what have you got for us today, Mr. Rosemont? My associates and I have to invest before the communists enter Hong Kong. Kilcullen Ranch. Yes. A hundred square miles of property stretching from the mountains to the ocean. The only undeveloped land between Los Angeles and San Diego and the largest private holding in all of California. Yes. The ranch has suffered from the drought. Michael Cullen is, is in desperate trouble, and he knows it. I believe he can be made to sell. Whoever gets it will have a gold mine. He's never realized its potential. How much? Billion. Maybe as much as three billion. And your commission? Usual, 5%. $150 million. <laughs> Land is the only thing that counts. How many times have you told me that? We'll talk. The time is now, Mr. Tang. Michael Cullen owes my bank a fortune. And foreclosure is imminent. I think we could be interested. I'm pleased. For all of us. Mike, would you look around you? Your neighbors, your friends, all the old families you grew up with, up and down the coast, by selling their land, they become rich. Progress, huh? From paradise to shopping centers, to parking lots. Oh, my. My client doesn't plan to. Don't care what your client plans. They strip the land of every growing thing and plant asphalt, water it with money, and develop what? Unwanted, unneeded projects. They don't develop a damn thing. Just a bunch of carpetbaggers. Mike, what do you plan to do when the bank calls in the loan? Is that a threat? Oh, come on, Mike. We're friends. Look, this is an opportunity. If you sell now, you not only wipe out your debts, you become one of the richest men in the world. I was wrong. You have developed something. A large pain in my ass. I can't believe the arrogance. He calls himself your friend and tries to bully you like that. He's so sure you're gonna have to sell. I'll sell apples on a corner before I let him lay his hands on my land. Sheriff and the state police. You ever had any trouble like this before? No, never. Yeah. 
Casey, we got off to a rough start, but I want you to know how glad I am you're here. It's been so good for Mike. Look, I'll be in L.A. on Wednesday, and I can bring you up today. How about dinner? Well, I'll be back next weekend. I don't want to wait till next weekend. OK, sure. Keep glancing at me. Is there something wrong? No, there's nothing wrong. Casey. Hey, table's all ready. Great. And the chef sent over your favorite pizza, smoked salmon and cream cheese. <laughs> That's why you picked this pizza. Yes. When I was Mel Botvinnik's girl Friday, he photographed that pizza and won a prize with it. He called it Jewish pizza. <laughs> I can't imagine you as anyone's girl Friday. Thank you. That's how I got started at Dazzle. That's how you get started. You're one to talk. I first saw you in a pinstripe suit, then on the ranch, and now, what kind of cow boss are you anyway? Ranching isn't an easy life. And from what Mike tells me, you've got more money than you need. Why aren't you on Wall Street? I was born on a ranch, Jazz. I brought up on one, and all the time I was growing up, I figured I'd spend my life ranching, and... Somehow, after college, I got sidetracked to Wall Street. And now I know I made a mistake. So I'm back where I belong. It's in my blood, just like it's in Mike's. Here's to an old-fashioned way of life. What? Well, I was just thinking the ranch is almost 150 years old. Maybe times are changing. You're right. Here's to an old-fashioned way of life. And whatever the future holds in store. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I tell you, you're lucky you're alive. Yeah, well, if I had nine lives, I'd probably used up about three of them. Thank you. I had a great time. Yeah, you know, when Mike offered me the job, I never counted on you. Good night. Good night. Mrs. Kim, call me and say you look absolutely beautiful. Classic in my time. The perfect Savannah debutante. Groomed and polished from infancy. And I would have had a trump and season. Everybody knew that. But then my roommate at Foxcroft invited me west for the holidays. She gave a little party in my honor. And Mike Kilgullen was one of the guests. Uh -huh. He was. Real cowboy, gloriously handsome. Not like any of the boys I'd ever known. <laughs> and I could have come from another planet as far as he was concerned, so of course we fell madly in love. Well, that sounds like the beginning of what could have been a beautiful story. The love story was beautiful, Mr. Rosemont. The rest of it was sad is not the wrong word. Because a ranch is all Mike ever wanted to be, and I couldn't help feeling exiled from the life I was born to. That's when you went back to Savannah? For a brief time. When Mike married Sylvie, I became the woman he was divorcing to take up with a movie star. I couldn't stand that. Well, I think your time has come again, Lydia. May I call you, Lydia? Well, yes. Well, Jimmy, I can guarantee that my daughters will cooperate with us. It's not your daughters I'm worried about. Jazz, you're a very perceptive man. Yes. Jazz loves...